full SP. This is no read. It's say. It's say. Okay, then. Mega Bats. Oh, this is Jackal. Hmm. This is also Jackal. This time. <sighs> Great Japan. Great Japan. <laughs> So many softwares. Oh yeah, this is bottom up. Uh, another this that I found. Oh my gosh, so many softwares. <laughs> Look at all these softwares I bought in Tokyo. The tackle shop there are a fisherman's heaven, but. They can also be the downfall of us, avid anglers. If you ever get a chance to go there, be careful. The tempting traps there will try to empty your wallet. Anyway, in this video, let me show you some cool soft plastics that you might not have seen before. Okay, the first one needs the OSP Drive Crow. I believe many of you are familiar with the fishing brand OSP, right? It's a Japanese brand founded by the famous pro fisherman Toshinari Namiki. I like OSP lures. They are high quality. And especially their long selling items like the Drive Crow are real deals. This one is in a blue package, which means it's designed for saltwater fishing. I found this one in the Chining Fishing Lure section. Chining is a popular genre of lure fishing targeting Japanese sea bream. There are so many colors that are believed to work well for saltwater species. Some have very vivid colors on them, like shocking pink, green, and yellow. Honestly, that's not my type. I prefer dark green or brown based low key colors for crow type baits. Anyway, I picked up a 2 inch model. I believe this bite-sized body is great for saltwater fishing, but such a small crawfish type lure is not easy to find in the United States. A free rig or super short leader drop shot would be my first choice for this lure. Look at these chunky clouds. These arms create phenomenal action in the water. Not just for bottom dragging and lift and fall techniques, we can swim this lure in the mid range, just like small fish flapping their fins. This is the D style SVSB Junior. SVSB means Supervive Sinking Bug. In the past several years in Japan, there has been a big wave of bag type lures. Many brands have produced baits in this genre. Additionally, as you know, bait finesse system has also emerged as a significant trend. Small bag type lures fit well with bait finesse system. That's one of the reasons why they are quickly getting popular in the Japanese bass fishing scene. This style is a brand founded by X Elite Series Pro Daisuke Aoki, who is a maestro in finesse bass fishing. SVSB by this style is a fantastic lure. I've caught some quality fish using it. This model is a downsized version of it. Let's take a look at the profile. It has lots of legs on the body, and those legs shake just like a real creature in the water. If you don't believe me, check out my SVSB video in my library. You'll see what I mean. 
the legs keep fluttering while slowly sinking to the bottom. That's a breathtaking view. I have used the normal SBSB with my bed finesse system. Mm, but I'll say this junior size would be better for an ultralight spinning tackle. Here is another soft lure from D style, Hula. I did not know about this lure at all, so discovering it in the tackle shop was a thrill. I am a fan of classic leech type baits, which are gradually disappearing from the market. This lure seems tailor made for the finesse style drop shot rig that I prefer. Without any hesitation, I added it to my shopping basket. After looking at the website, I found out that the original Fura is a 3 inch model. This one, however, is 2.5 inches, a smaller version. Look at this shape. Imagine this lure in the water. Wow, it must be a killer. Predators won't be able to resist attacking it. I am eager to try this lure in both fresh water and salt water. Drop shot rig should be the first choice, but Carolina rig might also be interesting. This style may not be very popular in the United States yet, but as finesse bass fishing gains popularity, I believe this style will become more in demand among enthusiasts of finesse style angling. Megabass, a super popular bass fishing brand in Japan. Do you know they also offer saltwater fishing products? This one here needs the bottle shrimp saltwater. The original bottle shrimp was designed for bass fishing, and I believe it's available through Megabass America. So, we can find it at Taku Warehouse and other US-based online shops. However, this particular version is a 3-inch model tailored for saltwater. This has not yet come to the United States. Look at these long arms. As the product name suggests, this is a shrimp-shaped lure, not a crayfish. It seems well suited for bottom rigs, but these long arms should also work great on a drop shot rig. I'm sure some other rockfish are going to love this lure. Could love so much. A Japanese fishing brand, Nori's, could be well known among bass fishing enthusiasts. The brand is led by Norio Tanabe, who is a master and sensei of the renowned Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Takumi Ito. Takumi has been working for the brand for many years, with most of his main tackles coming from this brand. The lure I have here is the Nori's Lady Fish. While I knew about this product, I have never actually seen it before. It seems like it's a small batch production, not widely available. At first glance, it looks like a typical classic worm, but something told me, don't miss the opportunity, you should try it. So I bought this. The body contains salt, suggesting that a weightless rig could be found for bass fishing. Bottom jerk and fall. This lure would have a great presentation. I also think this lure may be great for Saltwater Texas rig. Oh, and when Halibut season comes, 
using this on a Carolina rig to drag along the sandy bottom sounds promising. Oh yeah, this is spatula by Issei. In English, it's pronounced spatula, but in Japan, it's called spatera. I bought two sizes, 3-inch and 5-inch. I wanted a 4-inch model, but I couldn't find it, probably because it's the most popular size. It's a straight worm with a small paddle tail, and the name comes from this tail. A spatula generally refers to a kitchen tool used for scraping and spreading. In Japan, the term often refers to a rice spoon. I've been using this lure just like a common straight worm. The split shot rig and weightless rig are my go-to for this worm. So far, it has been working just as well as other great straight worms like Gary Yamamoto Cattail, OSP Drive Crawler, and Jupper Freak Shake. There are many choices, but recently Spatula has been joining my roster of worms. I think this lure will often be seen in my videos this year. This lure is by Evergreen International. The last ace 7.5 cm. It's published under the Fact brand, which is Evergreen International's in-house brand line. The Fact products have been produced by a top Japanese bass pro, Ken Fukushima. Last Ace is well known as a killer bait for strolling techniques which have become super popular worldwide. I've never used this lure before, so I cannot provide detailed explanations, but many Japanese anglers highly prize it. It's often used in clear water reservoirs and should be exciting to see a big bass swallow this realistic shaped minnow as it strolls around the surface. Perhaps I should give this lure a try once winter is over. This lure is by Bottom Up, the Braver Micro. Bottom Up is a brand founded by Kotaro Kawamura, who is not a tournament pro, but a highly popular angler in Japan. He previously worked for OSP, where he produced some of the most popular products, including the OSP Drive series. Kotaro has appeared in numerous media showcasing many cool fishing techniques. He's a charismatic angler followed by many bass enthusiasts. In December 2016, Kotaro launched Bottom Up, and I believe the Braver 5.7 inches was the brand debut lure. The Braver Micro is a downsized version, featuring a super skinny body with a putty tail. The packaging suggests four rigging options. Dropshot rig, dropshot wacky rig, weightless wacky rig, and neko rig. For a wacky style setup, it recommends removing the tail to transform the lure into a simple straight worm. This downsizing approach is particularly effective for targeting wary bass. In Japan, almost all fishing spots are heavily pressured, so these small finesse lures are demanded. I think this lure might be quickly destroyed by small bass and bluegills, but it's worth a try, right? Raid Japan, led by Takashi Kanamori. He's well known in the bass angling community and is often featured in web media. 
I'll say he and his marketing team excel at web marketing. They lure the quality products, but quality alone isn't enough for market success. A smart media marketing strategy is essential for competition today. And in my opinion, Raid Japan has mastered this, resulting in several smash hits for the brand. This is Abby. Hmm, looks like a large silverfish. This is available in two sizes, 5 inches and 3.5 inches. The one I have here is the Abby 3.5, the 3.5 inch model. The 5 inch version is recommended for the reverse rigging, enabling a backslide motion can be a good choice for bait finesse system. The smaller 3.5 inch model is designed with a focus more on the falling action. This could still be suitable for bait finesse system, but the light spinning setup might be a better choice. Another rigging option would be the Texas rig for saltwater fishing especially along rocky shorelines where rear bags similar to this lure are prevalent. These bags are prime meals for game fish, and I believe this lure will be effective in such scenarios. I have another Red Japan lure here, the Micro Two-Way. The two-way is one of the best-selling soft lures made by Raid Japan. And this is a micro-sized version of it. I had a video demonstrating the little two-way, which is slightly bigger than this one. Using it with a draw shot rig, I successfully caught some quality fish. I'm not sure what was perceived this lure as since I've never known a creature quite like this. With two bodies and tons of legs. If this were a plant, I might understand, but as we know, that's a meat eaters, not vegetarians. Regardless, Bass seems to love this strange something. Just like the little two way. I'm confident this micro version will also bring in many catches. Great way to hold drop shot rig. This is a new lure from Katek called Swing Bait. Interestingly, this is not an original lure by Katek. This is a reproduction of a discontinued lure, which had been released by a tiny manufacturer known as Tempt. Swing bait was well known as a claw bait for smallmouth bass, and was especially popular in Lake Nojiri and Lake Hibara, renowned small bass destinations in Japan. Kerek Japan has faithfully reproduced this shattered worm. As of now, Kerek USA hasn't added this product to their lineup, since it was only introduced to the Japanese market in December 2023. Quite a new release. As many of you know, I am a huge fan of Kerek lures. Given their track record with masterpiece swing baits like Swing Impact and EG Shiner, I expect this lure to perform very well. Yeah, for sure. According to the specs on the web, it offers a much more modest and natural tail action compared to Swing Impact. Can't wait to try! <sighs> so many lures, so many. This is Jackal Shizarcom, a great lure. And this is Jackal Ammonite Shed. How many did I bring back from Tokyo? 
I confess, I actually bought more. I have no idea how often I need to go fishing just to use all of them. You know, checking out my tackle strage. Tons of lure are already there in brand new packages. If you ask me, do you need this many? The answer is, uh, maybe. You know how it is. Somehow, fishing gear just keeps piling up, no matter what we do. Okay, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and communities. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.